Hi everyone, uh, Simon Hope from GetConsole.com here again. I uh, just want to give you a quick update on our um, version 1.5 which uh, hit the App Store yesterday. So uh, in version uh, 1.5 we've added a bunch of new features. Um, originally GetConsole was um, a simple serial terminal app. Uh, it was designed really for connecting um, iPads and iPhones just to Cisco console ports. But in this uh, 1.5 release, we've added official support for not just Cisco, but Juniper, um, Brocade, HP, um, uh, serial console ports. But as the emulation is VT100, it should work with uh, most serial ports, um, even if we officially don't support um, those vendors yet. Um, you still need to use the, um, the Red Park C2 RJ45 cable but if you're um, if you need a DB9 connection then we sell these um, $4 dongles to convert it to um, a DB9 presentation um, the next thing that we've added apart from more vendors is that the app now um, does Telnet and SSH um, so in addition to serial um, you can also connect over Wi-Fi and 3G to um, remote Telnet and SSH servers the SSH client is fairly basic in this release, but um, we'll be getting more features over the over the coming months. Um, to manage all this, we've now got a connection manager in the app um, to save those Telnet and SSH um, connection settings, which speeds up logging into them um, again at a later time. As far as the remote access is concerned, um, we've extended the remote access um, or session sharing feature that we have for series also to these Telnet and SSH sessions as well. So say you have an SSH connection from your iPad to a server over Wi-Fi, um, you can now also dynamically share that SSH session with our website so that another user can, um, can get into it at the same time. And finally in uh, 1.5 we have improved support for our private server offering. Now the private server lets you basically host your own version of our website software at your site. So um, for example, if your field engineers um, are using iPads, <coughs> they can dynamically share that serial, telnet or SSH session um, with your central NOC operations, for example, and it's all within your own um, security domain. None of it goes to the um, Get Console public web servers. Anyway, thanks for watching. We've got another version 1.6 currently in beta testing. Um, and that, that adds a whole much more user interface um, nice to have, especially in the cut and paste area. So look out for that uh, next month. Thanks.